now to some updates. This is a developing story that we've been following really closely for the last few weeks. We're on concerns over how a chlorine shortage will affect pools both commercially and residentially this summer. Western Mass News meteorologist Lena Dukowski is back and getting you answers, digging into the science to find out what safe chemical alternatives might be available. Number one, I have a child. And number two, we weren't able to go on vacation. So the pool itself was monumental. Melissa St. Germain says her new backyard addition was a lifesaver last summer during the pandemic, but she's concerned about her ability to maintain it due to the chlorine shortage this year. When I went to several different stores and every single shelf was empty, I got nervous. A summer without pools? Not on our watch. We dug deeper to find out just how far the chlorine shortage extends. Joe Federico, the aquatics director for the city of Springfield, tells Western Mass News that while the ongoing lifeguard shortage may prevent some of the public facilities from opening, the chlorine shortage won't. We use a special AccuTab system uh, for commercial pools. And I reached out to my supplier and there is no shortage, so we're good to go there. Six Flags New England is also on track to open their water park Memorial Day weekend as previously scheduled. In a statement issued to Western Mass News, they share, Our water park is slated to open May 29. Our suppliers have assured us that there is sufficient supply of liquid chlorine, which most of our water parks use. It turns out the shortage is only for residential chlorine tabs, not chlorine itself. And it's also not being caused by the pandemic. You're talking about a chlorine shortage that was caused by a plant that went offline because of Hurricane Laura. Professor Emeritus Michael Maroney taught chemistry at UMass Amherst for over three decades, and he's here to offer some alternate solutions. In a pinch, Maroney says that household bleach is a safe alternative. The only catch? The amount of it you'll need. One pound of dichlor, which people are very familiar with, I think, is equal to about eight gallons of household bleach. Just make sure it's not color safe. Color safe bleach does not contain hypochlorite, which makes active chlorine when added to water. You can also find higher concentrations of sodium hypochlorite than household bleach at the pool store, but you'll need to add a stabilizer to those. Option number two. Saltwater conversions, which is something St. Germain says she'll consider if the chlorine shortage gets worse. The chlorine is made by electrolysis of sodium chloride solution. Sodium chloride is table salt. Basically what you're doing there is you're using salt water in your pool. It's not salty like the ocean. It's much lower concentration of salt. And then you're doing essentially what industry is doing to make chlorine, which is electrolyzing. The equipment for a saltwater conversion will cost you a couple thousand dollars. Another option? Chlorine's neighbor on the periodic table. Bromine is very popular in spas and hot tubs because it works a little better at higher temperatures. It's not quite as reactive as chlorine, so the dosing will be different and, and things like that. But bromine is, a, a, is an alternative. It's usually more expensive than chlorine. For Western Mass News, I'm First Warning Meteorologist Lena Jakowski.